Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another thrift haul. I actually went to Jackson again because I really like going up there and also the prices are pretty good. Except I did notice a difference this time with the pricing. Like it went up. <laughs> you know, like everything else. Everything is going up. So yeah, remember to subscribe if you're new here and check out my links down below. I have Poshmark, eBay, and instagram as well if you are interested in that so at the first at the first store i found a couple of books because i've been wanting to read more right now i'm actually cur currently reading dune so they're on my desk and ugh, it's, it's like homework <laughs> it's like homework for me but i picked up some more books this one is called the boy on the bridge and it sounds like a pretty sad story i did read it for a little bit i mean the first uh what it's about page and this is a nice hardcover i think it was one dollar which is amazing then i got this random soft cover paperback i mean uh by william shakespeare volume one because i like writing poems along with my stories um if you didn't know i do like i do write I would consider myself a writer even though I'm not published yet because I'm manifesting <laughs> but yeah I'll, I've never really read his stuff besides like in high school so I thought for like 50 cents I don't know or like less than a dollar I forgot how much it was but I picked up William Shakespeare and then uh, they had a free rack outside just like last time at this store and I picked up this really cute long sleeve shirt it's just black and it says express yourself and it has two little dogs dancing and i thought it was super cute and kind of cool and i'm not sure but it's i'm not sure what it would sell for but it's called mutts organic and supposedly it's a 2x <laughs> but i think it's more like a large or maybe an extra large so i have not looked that up i'll have to look it up before i list it and all of that and probably take measurements as well anyway I also got a couple of lollipops at that store because I never really find that much for resale so it was nice to get a couple of books at the next store is where I started to notice that their prices had indeed gone up along with most other things but they still had some good prices on these little plates, I think they were 50 or 75 cents each. And I love vintage, like 80s, 70s style. And these reminded me of that because of the colors. And yeah, unfortunately, these were the only two little plastic bowls they had. So otherwise, I would have bought more. But these are perfect for kids. They are melanine wares and not microwavable. Top rack dishwasher safe. So I got those just for me because they're cute colors. What else? Oh yeah, they're having a, a clothing sale. So I actually went to their clothing because their hard goods were uh, a bit higher than I remembered last time. So I went over to the clothing and everything was half off. I picked up this Oscar de la Renta fleece sweater in a large. It's just black. It's maybe like early 2000s. It does button up here. And he, uh, it does have all the little buttons. And it's just like a basic fleece sweater. Book ends for myself probably since I don't have any book ends. Book ends. <laughs> Is that a one word or two words? I don't know. I'm a writer. So <laughs> these little kitty cats. I love cats. If you couldn't tell, I i am that bitch. I love cats. I was probably a cat in one of my past lives to be honest. Um, they're just so cute. I hope they hold up some of my books on my desk over there. This was like $12, so I did pay more than I would usually like to pay for that. Uh, something thrifted for myself. But I, I can't really tell what the brand is, but it's on there. And yeah, it was 12 for both of them. So, good deal. It was wrapped in. It's called CMI. It's just a large dress. I think it's buttoned down. No, yeah, kind of buttoned down. It has three shell buttons and they're really nice. And I have a brown dress by the same brand that I'm going to list. 
I'm gonna list the brown one. It has like florals and it's long sleeve and I'm gonna keep this one because I like black more. The brown doesn't really suit me too well. So I'm gonna let that one go in exchange for this one. Much. $20.60. And there's one more bag for the store was closing. Oh yeah, this little Winnie the Pooh shirt is not very little. Actually, it's a double XL, I think. Yeah, 2X. And it is like vintage Disney. And it has Winnie the Pooh embroidered on there with his honey and his bumblebees. And I thought it was really cute for anybody who likes Disney. And more Winnie the Poohs on this side. It's pretty small. But it's cute. And it just says Pooh <laughs> on the tag. And the back is just plain denim. I have a couple of denim tops like this myself, so I thought that would, somebody would really like that. I found more Disney vintage stuff, like this mug here, and this was, I don't know how much, maybe a dollar or less. I thought it was super cute. Just Mickey and Minnie for like tea. Made in Korea. Last item from this store is a vintage sweater. Oh no, there's one more item in there. Okay, hold on. What is it? Oh yeah, I got this little Taz shot glass. The, di the what's it called? Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But this is from Great America. And yeah, I thought it was super cute. Perfect condition. All right, let's get to the vintage sweater. It's so pretty. It has like bows. Yeah. And it's black. And it's sequined. And it's so good. So I really wanted to keep this, but I will be listing it just because I really don't need any more sweaters. And, uh... All right, my camera died. Let me see if I can go through this more quickly because... Yeah. Moving on to the third store. I found some beautiful dishes. They're um, black. And I. this is the first time that I've run through a black, run into a black set. So yeah, there's eight little salad or dessert plates here. And here's the brand. They're made in Spain. And no, France. And the brand is called Arcoroco or some shit like that. And I have more of them. I found a bigger dinner plate set as well. But first, let me show you these boots. These are by Bed Stew. This is the first time that I find this brand, but it does very well. Even used. Um, these should go for over 100. I just have to find the size of them, the sizing. But yeah, it's just women's boots, maybe like calf length. Dark Brown by Bed Stew. Next we have these really soft leather boots and these are vintage. They're like a purpley, uh, oh, so soft. They feel so good. Um, I looked up the brand as well and they're in a 38 and a half and they're just very cute and they have this little ruching there. Those should go for around 40, 45. 40 to 50 and then my daughter found these for her uh, clothing because she needs some more hangers for 149 which is amazing and then I got these platform shoes I did not even bother looking these up because they're so cool and I've been wanting some platform shoes like this I mean sandals platform sandals uh, the brand is called Barney's New York made in Italy and we'll see if they fit me if they don't they will be listed this other one but yeah I don't have any platform sandals so I hope they fit me oh yeah I found this super cute little teddy bear uh, tumbler and I'm obsessed unfortunately I only found one so I'll have to be on the lookout to collect more which I'm totally fine with doing I'm very patient just kidding no more And I found this cute little angel trinket box. I'm obsessed with angels. I love my angels. I love cherubs. So I had to pick this up. 
um i'm I, I might be keeping it it does have some crazing like little cracks and it's from 1995 you can see it right here here's a paperback this is called the enchanted life of adam hope and i thought it was very interesting when i read it so you can look it up if you want to but i want to go faster but i'll probably do some um book reviews because i really want to review dune which I'm almost, I'm like a little more than halfway done with it. So yeah. And I'll, I'll review these as well after I read them, of course. Khalad Hosseini. Hosseini, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I love the Kite Runner. I have the Kite Runner. I thrifted it a couple years ago and I just, it's one of my favorite stories. Anyway, this novel is called And the Mountains Echoed. So that should be pretty good. I already like his writing and so I know I'm going to enjoy him. I mean the story. And I also really like Eckhart Tolle because I have um, told you guys about the Power of Now audiobook which is free here on YouTube. So I picked up this one. This one is called A New Earth. At this store I spent $44.65. I have more books. Chihuahuas. I really want to get a Chihuahua someday. So I got that book. And then I love cats. So I got this book too. Just to look at it. It has some cute little history pictures of like cats and how they're important. And then I got this lacy uh, top. This will be perfect to wear under that black vintage dress. Because it's kind of sheer. Like all over sheer. And I think it's just like a Oh, it's Old Navy, but it's super cute. I really like florals like this. And I recently found one in a purple, like purple roses like this, like this but not completely sheer. And then I got this shirt for my partner. Because I like, I like this blue and he likes yellow, so I thought he would like that. Ugh, that's heavy. How beautiful are these plates, though? Ugh. I really want to keep them. They're so gorgeous. If I were to sell them, these would go for over a hundred. Um, I did look at comps. Sorry, I have to untape them. These were twenty bucks, so I did pay up for these. Um, and hopefully, there's no chipping or cracked ones. <laughs> but they feel fine from the edges. I did feel them. So yeah, there's eight in this set as well, and they're just like the smaller ones, but bigger. And then last but not least, I found this cute little tapestry bag with a bunch of cats on it, which I'm definitely keeping. <laughs> but I do have one listed. I have a couple of tapestry bags on my eBay store and Poshmark closet. No, probably just eBay actually because I tend to put vintage only on eBay, especially like last year. I'm only now recently starting to cross list everything onto Poshmark because it does surprise me with what sells over there. I just need to wash this, but I, I really do love it. This bag costs more than the shoes. The shoes were like three bucks, which is amazing. And this was four dollars. <laughs> so yeah, it smells vintage, so I will have to clean it up. But it's very like solid. And it has inside pockets. Whoever made this, it's like handmade. They did a really good job. Um, yeah, this is a keeper for me. I I really like cats, and I don't have any tapestry bags, so nice casual boho hippie vibes but that's it that's the whole haul i hate saying that favorite find because i'm fucking gay no because i'm an adult and i really appreciate it nice <laughs> nice plates brand new these would cost so much more than 20 dollars so with a small set these were 11 dollars 10.99 so yeah this is still a really good deal because where i'm at right now they 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 will um, individually price plates like this for like 3 or $4. So I'm really glad that they just put them in, in a stack together, like a whole set. And then um, I'm fine with paying $10, $11, $20 for this whole thing. Because they're beautiful. And I would like to find the cups as well because I really like black plates. How beautiful is that print? These would not be microwave safe and they would have to be hand washed only. And I think they're worth it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's. It is February 14th. 
so i hope you um are loving yourself and being kind to one another and yeah i'm, I'm so gay <laughs> all right bye